What's up, Madden 25 gamers? Today we'll be taking a look at the Blitz of the Day from yesterday. We're actually going to redo it. I apologize for the video quality. Uh, someone let me know that it wasn't up to my standard. And uh, I want to redo it. I want to get you guys actually the proper setup. And I want you to have it not glitch and lag and whatever. And if, again, guys, if a video ever does that or you ever come across uh, a problem like that, it, it's just best to let me know. You can either email me or you can just leave a comment on the video. And I'll deal with it as soon as possible. But uh, real quick, let's hop into the Blitz of the Day. So it was for the 236 wheel. And uh, the play that we wanted to look at was the Mike Edge one, and you can also do this out of the Mike Edge three seam, and really you could do it out of any formation in this or any play in this formation. What we want to do with this is we want to base a line, we want to shift our defensive line to the left, and we want to shift our linebackers to the right, and that's the basic setup. And what we like to do also, if you have uh, enough time pre-snap, you can slide in McCray like this, and at the snap of the ball, what's going to happen is you're going to end up getting pressure. Well, I guess you're not going to get pressure. Hey. Um, you're, you're supposed to get pressure off the left edge. I think it's because of this blitz angle here by your boy Anthony Spencer. Um, so what we want to do is we're going to base the line, shift the D-line to the left, shift the linebackers to the right, and then one adjustment is needed. We're just going to re-blitz Anthony Spencer straight down. And now you're going to see at the snap of the ball, we're going to get that right edge pressure. Actually got two guys free, sending five at the quarterback. That's what makes this play so special. Uh, it's not necessarily just because of that, but again, it is partially because that we have that potential. And you see at the snap of the ball, again, pretty fast to set up. And in that time, we only got one guy free. But again, it's the, it's the idea that you potential. Um, you know, you're not really trying to get two guys free in this situation, but getting two guys free is always a plus. And again, the speed at which you can adjust out of this defense is phenomenal. If you guys are on a, you know, if you guys are on more on an advanced level of the game, you're going to understand what I'm talking you might want to say the ability to adjust um, adjust your coverages, adjust all of that stuff. Now, real quick, if you didn't want to manually have to move McCray down, just call press coverage. And you see when you call press coverage, he's going to go right down into the position where we would usually manually move him down. This way you don't have to, you don't, you don't have to click onto him. Okay? Real quick, how would we like to um, stop this blitz if we're in offense? Well, if they're blitzing just from the right side, common sense says we're going to slide protect to the right, and then we're going to block our tight end because he's on the right side of the screen. And we're going to base a line. We're going to set the blitz up just like we just did. And now you're going to see that the blitz is going to get picked up off the right edge. And he's going to have time. Kaepernick has time to get rid of the ball. But then you see that's why you got a team like Dallas Cowboys or New York Giants or San Francisco 49ers who can block shed, get to the quarterback, and you're going to be getting sacks for days out of this defense. Obviously, guys, there is holes in the coverage. That's part of blitzing. What I like to do if you have time to sure up the coverage is I like to run man on one side of the field and zone on the other. So since the running back's on the left, I'm going to run zone to the left. So I will put... The slot DB in a purple, the um, uh, far left DB in a hook zone, and then I'll take the middle linebacker, I'll put him in a yellow zone, and I'm going to use or him. And I like to shade my coverage to the left so that the zones go over there. Now we've got man on one side, zone on the other side. Quarterback's confused. He doesn't know what to do, and isn't then going to be taking a sack. Guys, if you're enjoying the Blitz of the Day series, leave a like rating below. And if you could, it'd really be, I would really appreciate you guys to share this series on Twitter. I really would like to see it get a lot more views than it does. And not saying that your views don't matter to me. I'm just saying I think a lot of people could benefit from this series. So be sure to share it on Twitter for me if you could. And also, guys, be sure to follow me on Twitter. If you don't follow me on Twitter, you're missing out. You know, I tweet out some of my favorite guys' videos. You know, today I talked about, uh, today Z-Boy365, excuse me, actually posted the, uh, probably the best defensive tip I've ever seen in Madden 25 uh, so far. Uh, goes past all the tips that you've seen. I think this is the best tip, especially for defense in Madden 25. Uh, and if you guys are playing following my videos you kind of see some of the problems and stuff like that and uh, this tip really will change it changes the game defensively for us so definitely want to check out zboy365 also ryan dykes actually posted how to stop quarterback rap i actually have my own method and uh, i'm going to be showing you that in a little bit i don't know if it's the same or not because i didn't actually watch the video but i do know ryan dykes personally and, and ryan dykes is one of the best players in the game right now uh, arguably probably one of the favorites to win uh the madden challenge this year if they have it so once again guys ryan dykes check him out youtube just search him. He's got videos up, and I tweet him. I tweet every video he puts out, and I try to tweet a lot of Z Boys content, just so you guys can, you know, be feel free to check those videos out. And if you're following me on Twitter, you're gonna get those updates. Also, if something like what happened today with the YouTube channel, where the the videos weren't as uh, good quality, I address that on on Twitter. Twitter is my main source of communication with you guys. I do a lot. It's a lot easier for me to do it on Twitter than it is for YouTube. So be sure to follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description. And also, I want you guys to please check out my man Michael Riley's YouTube channel. 
trying to get him to a thousand subscribers in the next two to three weeks. I uh, really, 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 really would appreciate to see that guy get the subscribers he deserves. Thank you guys so much for watching, and be sure to check out the Blitz of the Day tomorrow, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the 3-4 formation, and we're actually in the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook, for those of you who don't know, and we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thanks for watching, and use this Blitz in blitzing situations. Don't use this, you know, in that second and long. You want to use this in third and long situations to lock up your opponent. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.